Alright, hello guys, welcome to a tutorial video. I haven't done one of these since, I think, on Holy Sanctuary. Uh, this one's basically to give you a rundown on how to set up a PS1 emulator for your PC, as well as um, a decent uh, recording setup, because there's quite a few out there to choose from, and I can only really think of one that I use more often than any of the other ones I have. I have four different recording um, setups I use, but I'm only using one at the moment for apps, so anyway, let's get started. So first of all I'm going to show you what emulator to choose. Uh, there's quite a few PS1 emulators to choose from, so basically just type in EPSXE and first, oops, wrong one, first option you'll get is this website here so just go ahead and click on it and it'll take you to the home page now you want to go to the left hand side of the screen here and click on downloads and it'll instantly take you to the downloads page for EPSXE um, if you have trouble finding it I'll just put a link in the description um, for all of these that I'm going to be showing you but just to save time really but anyway um, I don't really know which one's um, best really? It, if you're a Linux user I guess you could use the 1.60 um, version but um, I recommend using the, the newest version 7.0 so just click on that and it automatically starts downloading for you. Make sure you do have something that can unzip the files obviously so yeah when you've done that just it, choose where you want to extract it to obviously I keep mine in my downloads folder but that's it really for that that's you know how you set up your emulator I'll show you it quickly so if I actually have it there it is on my desktop it should come up as EPSXE I have both versions because I find 1.60 works better than 1.70 on some occasions uh, probably different for everyone anyway I use 1.70 so yeah this is your file. You can ignore all these really. You don't need to worry about these. So just click on the PlayStation controller right near the bottom. Just double click it. And you'll come up with this. This is your this is your emulator that you'll be using. So if you're using this for the first time you will get a little tutorial video tutorial uh, menu coming up like this. I don't need to go through it, but I'm going to go through it anyway just to show you guys. Uh, make sure you pay close attention to what it says in each one, and if it does recommend that you use one of them that's on the list, then do it. So in this case, it's recommending this particular bio, so choose it from the list and. Oops. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, just choose the bios from the list as you go. As you go. Ah, now my emulator seems to be slowing down a bit. But anyway, yeah, basically just go through the tutorial and it will tell you, it'll pretty much sort it out for you as it goes. It's not too difficult. Um, if you know what your graphics card is, then you shouldn't have a problem with this. Just choose which, um, which one you think is best for you. I'm using NVIDIA, so I'll need an OpenGL. We go for the second one actually. Uh, yeah, don't worry about that. The sound one, um, you just go straight ahead with the sound one and choose which one it is for it. It's pr it's already chosen for you, I think actually. So yeah. And now this is very important. Um, I'm gonna have to do a separate video on this because it's pretty it's pretty confusing. Um, you can use the PlayStation or an Xbox controller on your PC. But I'm going to have to show you in a separate video. I already have mine set up already. But um, if you're using a keyboard, I do suggest you go in here first and um, highlight each of these and choose which buttons on your keypad, your keyboard, sorry, that you want to use. So, yeah. I will do a video on how you actually use a PS2 control, PS3 controller, or if you have an Xbox, an Xbox controller. So that's it really for the EPSXE emulator. It's, it's a lot more simpler than I've made it sound, but I'll throw a couple of links in the description that 
have some easy tutorials on there for you. And now we're going to have a quick look at the recording um, options that you've got. The one I always use is this one, Fraps. Just type in Fraps and choose the first one on there. It's possibly the best recording recorder that I've ever used. I've used quite a few and it is definitely the best. Um, it's expensive though. You do actually have to pay for this. You can torrent it, but I don't recommend torrenting it if you, you know, obviously you shouldn't really torrent it, you should just buy it, but, um, yeah, it's, I'm afraid, that you, you can download it, but it's, the, um, the trial, the free version, it isn't very good at all. If you are going to buy it, I do recommend, um, you know, it's much better just to buy it than it is to use this version, it's terrible this version uh, it's only 25 quid it's it, it really is worth it if you're looking into doing videos in the long term in the long run it is definitely worth getting um, this this is obviously the members area because I've already got it so I'm not going to show you that um, but yeah if you can't afford fraps then the only other ones I can really think of that you would be best to use might be Camtasia I haven't used Camtasia for a while. Um, I might have to have another look into this. Mm. I don't think Camtasia would be that good. My recommendation might be Hypercam actually. Um, Hypercam 2. I did use Hypercam 2 for quite a long time actually before I used um, Fraps. Fraps is better but um, Hypercam's possibly the best. It sits alongside Fraps quite well but it still does have its, down its, its points to it which aren't that good. So yeah. Um, if you can't afford Fraps which is 25 quid like I said I'd go for the free version of Hypercam 2 or I can't actually show it you because it might end up getting me into a bit of trouble with my account. You can always torrent for apps and get and download it. You can like download it illegally, but I'm not condoning it, so I'm not condoning downloading fraps that's for sure, but well not legally anyway. But anyway that's it really. Um that's all I can really think of is Hypercam 2 or Fraps. Fraps is the one you really want to go for. It's the best one, really. It's the best one to use. It can record. It's currently recording my desktop. It can record pretty much anything you throw at it. The only problem is, is that the files are quite big. Um, you will need something to condense them down. But like I said, I'll do another video on that at a different point. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you have any questions, direct them to the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them. Right, take care.